hello everyone welcome to google meet tutorials in this video we are going to see that how can we create a whiteboard with our google meet now google meet provides us a feature through which we can actually create a whiteboard the whiteboard that's created can be used to explain things um, in a better way to all the participants of the meeting the whiteboard so created is shared with all the participants they all get a link which they can use to download the whiteboard later on so uh, let's see how do we create that so if you just are in some meet then only you would be able to create this whiteboard so make sure you are in this apps uh, activities section in the bottom right corner the third option from the actually the fourth option from the left and the second option from the right this is this activities option where you would be getting this whiteboarding collaboratively brainstorm and sketch ideas let's just click on that once you do that you will get an option to start a new whiteboard or you can just choose the whiteboards that you have used previously from your google drive since i do not have any whiteboards over there i'm going to start a new whiteboard and you can see the notification over here creating jam so jam board is the app that would be used to create this whiteboard this whiteboard has the same name as the meeting code the google meet code that you have and you can see that um, this whiteboard or this jam board is now associated with your meeting now using the different tools like this is the pen tool we can actually um, make some doodles around here so here i can just write anything that i want or maybe using the pen tool if i just click over here i can customize the color and everything like i want a red colored pen so here i can just write in the text it would be easier if you have a kind of a pen tab it would be easier to write but you have these different pen options like a normal pen a marker then you have a highlighter so this is the highlighter and then you have a pen brush so this also we can use just like this you can uh, write in anything that you want any of the text that you want let's just click on the pen some of the text that we want we have written it over here you want to change the colors the colors are the different colors available over here that also you can change and make some doodles over here if you are not satisfied with it you can just use the eraser tool to erase some of the doodles use clear frame to clear the whole whiteboard if you want a particular background like uh, this kind of a grid for uh, some purposes or these kind of lines that also you can do uh, you can add sticky notes you can add some kind of images that you want to explain about you want some, uh, to add some kind of shapes so these are all these shapes that you can add suppose i want to create a flowchart kind of a thing so i'm adding some shapes over here so this is the shape i have added i want to change its boundaries that i can change if i want to fill it with a particular color that i can do i can set its rotation i can set its size and everything then if i want to duplicate it i can duplicate it as well if i want to delete it i can delete it similarly if i have multiple images i can select the order of those images suppose let's just change its color and i just select it to backwards so this is how the order of the images etc i can select i want to add some text so this is the text box this would allow me to add some text like let's say sample one would be the text added and i can move it inside the circle then i want to add another text and that is sample two so sample two is the another text that i've added this i can move inside this particular circle and its position also i can just send it to backwards actually over here okay so this is how basically i can just make any changes i can make any kind of a doodles that i want into the whiteboard this would be visible to all of the participants of the meet furthermore they can actually access it from their google drive as well as you can see uh, we have the option to choose from drive right so once we close the meeting that jamboard file would be actually shared with every participant in their google drive which they can access later on as well so that's how you create a jamboard or a whiteboard in the google meet that's it for this video thanks for watching